Hi dear students. So today in this session, let's have a discussion on solid waste and its management. Waste is defined as any unwanted or useless materials. It is also known as rubbish, trash, refuse, garbage or junk. There are different types of waste and it includes solid waste, liquid waste, gaseous waste, biodegradable waste, biomedical waste, chemical waste, commercial waste, construction waste, consumable waste, composite. That includes the plywood waste and all. Solid waste is defined as non-liquid, non-soluble materials ranging from municipal garbage to industrial waste that contain complex and sometimes hazardous substances. Solid waste are classified based on their source of origin like the residential waste, commercial, institutional, municipal, industrial and agricultural waste. And based on their physical nature, they are classified as garbage, ashes, combustible and non-combustible waste, demolition and construction waste, and hazardous waste. Garbage includes a biodegradable food waste and they include residual vegetable or animal waste resulting from the handling, preparation, cooking and eating of foods. They are putrescible. Garbage also includes the biodegradable food waste, residual vegetable or animal waste resulting from the handling, preparation, cooking and eating of foods. They are putrescible means that it contains organic matter capable of being decomposed by microorganisms, especially in warm weather. And the main source of garbage are houses, hotels, dairies, meat stalls. Combustible and non-combustible solid waste consist of paper, cardboard, plastics, textile, rubber, leather wood, furniture and garden trimmings and the non-combustible solid waste includes glass, crockery, tin cans, ferrous and non-ferrous metals and the main sources are from the households, offices, hotels and markets. Ashes are the residues remaining after the burning of wood, coal, coke and other combustible waste. And the sources are from fireplaces and kitchens of houses, hotels and hostels. The demolition and construction waste include dirt, stones, concrete, bricks, pieces of plumbing and heating and electrical parts. And their sources are from the demolition and construction of buildings. The industrial waste are specific for a specific industry. Their characteristics vary widely as inert, highly biodegradable, toxic, reactive, odorous, corrosive, hot, cold, color, viscous, inflammable and dusty. And the sources include different types of industries and thermal power plants. Broadly, the solid waste are classified into three types. The housework Household waste is generally classified as municipal waste and the industrial waste as hazardous waste. The biomedical waste or hospital waste as infectious waste. The municipal solid waste consists of household waste, construction and demolition debris, sanitation residue and the waste from streets. And the household waste that can be categorized as hazardous waste include old batteries, shoe polish, paint tins, medicine bottles, clothes and this chart shows the approximate time that is required by a certain type of waste to degenerate. For example, for the organic waste such as vegetable and fruit, peels, leftover foodstuff, it only takes a week or two for the decay or the degeneration. For paper, it takes 10 to 30 days. For cotton cloth, it's 2 to 5 months and for wood, it's 10 to 15 years and when the waste is woolen items, it, uh, it takes almost 1 year. For tin, aluminium and other metal items such as cans, it takes almost 100 to 500 years and for the plastic bags, it's, it's like 1 million years and for the glass bottles, it's not even determined. Next one is a hazardous or industrial waste. 
Industrial is considered hazardous as they may contain toxic substances. Hazardous waste could be highly toxic to humans, animals and plants and also they are corrosive, highly inflammable or explosive and they react when exposed to certain things for example gases. In the industrial sector, the major generation of hazardous waste are the metal, chemical, paper, pesticide, dye, refining and rubber goods industries. Next one is a hospital waste or biochemical waste. Hospital waste is generated during the diagnosis, treatment or immunization of human beings or animals. It may include waste like sharp soil waste, disposables, discarded medicines, chemical waste. And this kind of waste is highly infectious and can be a serious threat to human health if not managed in a scientific and discriminate manner. It has been roughly estimated that of the 4 kg of waste generated in a hospital, at least 1 kg would be infected. So the major sources of solid waste are domestic, commercial, industrial, municipal and agricultural waste. The composition of a city waste is as follows, like 53% of it includes paper, wood, cardboard and 22% is garbage. 10% is a ceramic, glass and crockery items, 8% is metal and 7% is rubber, plastic and discarded textiles. This is kind of a rough estimation. It varies depending upon each cities. Now let's see the cost of solid waste that is generated tremendously. The increase in the quantity of solid waste is due to overpopulation, material comfort or affluence, and the technological advancement. Solid waste is found to be hazardous to the health and it is having a significant environmental impact. If solid waste are not collected and allowed to accumulate, they may create unsanitary conditions. Many diseases like cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, plague, gastrointestinal diseases may spread and cause loss of human lives. In addition, improper handling of the solid waste is also health hazard for the workers who come in direct contact with the waste. Coming to the environmental impact, if the solid waste are not treated properly, decomposition and decay may not take place. The organic solid waste during decomposition may generate intolerable odors and there is also groundwater pollution, air pollution and global warming. 